But now today we're going to go over the top five things you need to know. Top five. There's, there's, there's more than five. There's well, so yeah, many. There is. But we just want to cover five so that you're as prepared as possible for those that want to join us next Sunday in person. We want to go over the top five things. So number one. He's going first. All right. First thing you need to know if you're joining us is starting October 11th. We're moving to two services. Uh, two services. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one of the reasons is, is there's a limitation of how many people can gather. And to make sure we do that, we had to move to two services. So you need to know is two services. The first one's at 10 a.m. And the second one is at 11.30 a.m. So two services, one at 10 a.m. and one at 11.30. Now, if you're a parent, you're going to need to know this. We have an amazing kids ministry for those that are preschool age and also school age. There's only going to be in-person kids ministry at the 10 a.m. service. So if you've got kids and you want to bring them with you, they're always welcome in every service. But if you want them to go into our Nova Kids, our Nova Kids Junior Curriculum and Program, it's only available 10, baby. at the 10 a.m. service. So we're going to two services, and one of them has kids ministry. And that makes sense, right? The little tinies are up early, and uh, get yourself to church. Number two. Number two. Wear your mask. Um, we want to be abiding by the law. We want to make sure that everybody is safe as we can. So we're asking that if you're going to come and visit us in person, that you would bring your mask and wear it. Wear it above your nose and covering your mouth so that we can protect and keep everybody safe. Um, and again, we know this is why we've created another venue and way for you to experience church online is because we know that the mask issue may be a little bit sensitive and maybe it's just uncomfortable. But if you are going to come and be with us in person, you will have to wear your mask. Um, and that's for school age and up. Oh, so if you're, if you're preschool, you're good. But once you hit school, grade primary, from that age up, wear a mask and bring your own. And if you don't have one, we have some we'll provide for you. So wear a mask. Next you need to know, this is an what important else? one, is you must register for all these services. Like if you were going to a restaurant. You yep. want to call and make a reservation? Make your reservation. So we're going to make it easy for you to register. We need to know who's in the building, and we got to make sure that helps us not go over our limit and to make sure we make it as enjoyable and as easy as possible. So you're going to have to pre-register. Now, if you show up at the door or someone shows up at the door, we're going to walk them through registering there if we have room and we expect to fill up some services. So here's register. what's going to happen. We're going to release the link for registering the Thursday before the service. Right. Why Thursday? Well, if you register on a Tuesday or Wednesday, your plans might change during the week, and we don't want to have people not show up, that and happens. then those spots aren't available, and we know life can change in your plans. So Thursday, we're going to release the link, and again, during announcements, if you text online and you did that, you're in our mailing list. We're going to release it by email, and you register Thursday for Sunday services, whatever service you're picking. You can also register your kids on there so they have a spot in kids' ministry for yeah, the 10 a.m. Sure service. Yeah. So you can pre-register, and in there you can pre-register your kids, but you must pre-register um, and then if you show up at the door and you haven't registered, if there's room, we'll make you register there. So you can only come in if you register. So that email is going out on Thursday, and uh, we're excited, and we know you're going to register. And you can unregister, right? Right, good Again, point. Again, if, if something comes up, we all know life changes, and we hit on that, but you can unregister as well. To so free that, up that spot. Yeah, we want to do that. We want to be as organized as we can, and that depends on you. So if you're not going to be able to make it, just go ahead and um, give back your seats, yep. which would be great. Okay, number four. Number four. My goodness. I feel like this is like David Letterman <laughs> or like some kind of uh, top countdown. But number four. Number four. Um, guys, as much as we're excited about being back in person for those who are comfortable, our online campus is still going to be running. Yeah, awesome. And it's going to be better than ever before. You are going to feel engaged and connected like it's specifically for you in your living room. And so that's our live stream. And it's going to run at 1130. Again, we used to run it at 10. But it is going to be a time change of 1130. It's, it's going to be so, so fantastic. Good. 
and it's going to be behind this. You're going to see behind the scenes. There's going to be interviews on there. And Matt Lido, Pastor Matt Lido, is going He's to be so our new awesome. online campus pastor. It's going to be live. It's going to be interactive. Uh, we're investing heavily in people and resources to make it amazing. For so you. If, so if you're yeah. home in the Halifax area or if you're global, and we have so many people that have joined our church globally, uh, it's going to be an amazing experience for you to watch live or it'll be on demand for the rest of the week. So that's going to be fun. That's really fun. Number five. Last but not least. Not least. What number five is services are going to start on time <laughs> and doors are going to close once the service starts. Yeah. So we love our church. We do. But there is, you know who you are. But on time performance sometimes, is rough. Sometimes you're rolling in the parking lot 20 minutes late. That's not going to happen in the new reality. So no. services are going to start on time, 10 and 1130. And once that service starts, the doors, exterior doors are going to lock. Uh, you can get out whenever you want, <laughs> but you can't get in. Yeah. And the reason for that is we have to know who's in the building. Uh, we have to make sure we refresh and get ready for the next service and crowd flow. So you need to be on time. And if you're not on time, we're going to give your seats away. Yeah. So you have to be on time. And the doors will shut. Yeah. So on time is not 10 o'clock. Actually, if you show up on 10 at 10, you're late. <laughs> so 15 minutes early. So um, doors are probably going to be shutting at 9.50 to make room for everybody to get in and get and positioned. And 11.20 for the second and service. And 11.20 for the second. So those are so our top let's five. Let's try hard. So right, Mike? Let's try hard. We have to try hard, you so guys. So there's so many details and things going on. Yeah. And I know you're adjusting, whether it be shopping and school has already started. Yeah. And we're all navigating all these things. Um, church is no different. And I know we can do it.